So, hello everybody, I'm back again. Today we are finally going to do some infill on these nails here and then do an overlay with glitters and a design with those glitters. As you can see, uh, my nails has grown out a couple of weeks after I sculpted them and I also had to thin them a little bit down um, yeah because there was some issues with the gel that I used you can see that these are really quite thin almost just like tips and I'm going to use Jimmy gel uh, as my infill but these nails are actually sculpted with Jimmy gel from the base uh, I have just used Jimmy gel and power bond primer so um, yeah that is what I am going to do and you will see later what this Jimmy gel is doing to me so I'm using this light elegance power bond bond and I'm going to use cool gel from light elegance elegant and I'm going to use the, these two glitter gels from glitterlustnails.com in Norway. They are made in Norway and they ship worldwide. And if you buy over $50, you will get shipping free. And use my link in the description box below and you will get 20% off of your entire purchase. And then you get also free shipping over $50 so that's a good bargain this is holo crush it is just packed with holographic mylar flakes tiny 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 flakes and the other one is uh, crystal and that is also holographic and iridescent with tiny tiny specks of silver in there so it's, it is so super shiny and beautiful. These these are so beautiful. The pots are 10 gram or yeah, 10 gram jars, but you get products for eight, eight gram inside. And these are tightly sealed. So it no spillage, leakage, anything. And the glitters do not drop to the bottom. So it stays floating around. You do, do not get bubbles in them. I'm going to use the DR director. I'm going to use this wipe up off solution and my alpha brush oval short number six. That is the Kulinski brush. And I'm also using um, number six uh, synthetic one for this bonding or the bonder. Sorry. So I'm just laying it all over my nail and then I just use this short brush to really rub it into that ready prepped nail so you really get that a good grip into the nail plate <laughs> where you have lift up your yeah that surface buff the surface up so I'm just brushing the, the bonder on and um, rubbing it in with my brush and this one has to cure for I think it was 60 seconds it might have been 30 but I yeah yeah you have to read the instruction to use it <laughs> sorry <laughs> I forgot when I'm sitting here now so um, yeah cure it when I'm done And then I go in with my Jimmy Gel. I this is quite uh, is uh, <laughs> sorry. This is the most runniest builder gel in a bottle that I have used. So it is quite can be quite challenging if you haven't used a builder in a bottle before, or are used to thicker builder gels in general. But um, it's a brilliant gel for just infill I find it 
ooh, super easy. I just put on a thicker stripe in the back. It's like I'm putting the gel in the back. And then I just wipe and stroke over. Um, I do not, as you can see here, I just put the gel kind of in the back. And then I just wipe over with my brush on my rest of my nail just to get it wet with the gel so when i'm done that it's all self-leveled and just clean around quickly and just cure it and you can flash cure it and go over to the next nail if you want so i'm just putting most of the gel in the back and then wipe it off or yeah and that is the fill it is super super quick to do an infill with it's just that I I really didn't like this gel when it it was fine for about a week but when my nails started to grow um, something happened with this with this gel uh, it started to pinch my nails because I have a C curve on some of my nails. I will explain it further later. So I'm using a shimmer white from Malam Glam. And I'm using a silver gel from Ended. I had to stir this up because all the pigment was in the bottom. Uh, so it got some bubbles in there. But it doesn't matter because this is going to be under the gel. So, um, and I'm going to do an ombre here. And that doesn't matter that does not need to be perfect at all because it's going to be under the glitter that was did i say glitter or did i say gel i can't i can't remember i just go in with a smaller brush around the cuticle area so i get it all up around the cuticles it looks a little bit better so I do not made a mess with my big brush and I cure the first layer because it was kind of see-through that was not necessary either but I did it anyway so this is the second coat almost looks like I only put on uh, uh, the white two coat and put one coat of the silver I think I did that yeah because this the white one was kind of sheer so now I'm going in with a holo crush and just move it around where I want it to be in a thin layer I just I always fiddle to <laughs> I always it's like I want that piece here and I want that piece there and yeah it's just in my brain it's just yeah that's why I'm fiddling <laughs> and that the best thing is to do an ombre red glitter because that is so easy uh, doing ombre with the glitter you can almost just use the use a wooden stick or a small brush and just move it a little around your nail plate and you have a beautiful ombre it is super easy to do an ombre yes I, I actually used the stick there oh, I cannot remember what that stick called <laughs> sorry but I went over to a small brush in the end so I'm just fiddling again. You can see how easy it is to make an ombre with glitters. You just move something around. I haven't wiped that brush once. So after I cured it, I go over with the cool gel and I'm just making a wet layer first. So that when I go in with that big bead, big blob on top, uh, that wet big blob will stay in that wet layer it will not uh, flow that easily into the cuticles 
so I also do not put this gel because it's kind of it's it's a medium medium gel depending on the temperature but it's not a thick one so um, I did not put it all the way in the back as you can see I just put it kind of one to two millimeter from my cuticle and then I just work it out and try to keep the most of the product in the middle and when I finished uh, the gel has self-leveled in the back of my nail so I do not need to work in that area at all actually so that is something you learn after working with gel for a while you know which gel floats in a certain time so yeah you get used to it so here I take that silver gel again one coat first I believe I am just curing it right away I'm not sure it was a little bit streaky and messy and that was because I had stirred it so much and I put on a thicker layer here on my ring finger so I only took one layer and then I just went over my pinky no, no my pointer once again while I had that to grey out or silver out as you can see there was actually no need for that second layer I just did it <laughs> so I'm not sure w what what do you like to see do you want to see me do a whole hand like this and sometimes it's quite sped up uh, or do you want to see it slow slowly and me just working on one or two nails in a video so you get it really slow so give me some comment on how you want to watch a nail video and if I'm just doing the one design on each or the same design on every nail there is no need to do a video or a long video on every nail but uh, if I'm doing several different designs that is kind of tricky to get them all into a short video I'm doing my best. I really, really try my best. <laughs> so, um, this is the whole crush again, and I try to keep the layers, layer, layers, thin, because this is going to be encapsulated also, so the nail is not, so that the nail is not going to be thick in the end. But this covers so well. This is so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. But when I <laughs> actually was finished with this glitter, um, this glitter, uh, I mm, it took me actually almost two weeks again before I got to to to, to finished with the with the end design. So. The glitter was exposed to all <laughs> all the nature, all the air and everything that I was doing for two weeks. Uh, so with no top layer, top coat. So it the glitter got a bit dull. You will see that later because I was, um, uh, yeah, my health wasn't that good. So I had to wait a little bit. So. I, actually ended up doing a little tiny infill later in the just in the back with some additional glitter you will see that later <laughs> and then you will see the difference in the shape of my nails and that happened that happened when I just used gym and gel on 
all my nail and it also happened when I used Jimmy gel on my nail plate and I use um, Light Elegance uh, uh, fiber gel on my tip the same thing happened when I did that so I am not sure I, I have done nails for s many years now and that has never happened to me and I have no idea why that this happened you will see it later what I'm talking about what happened but the nails totally it the shape shape is totally different you can see look closely at my nails now they are quite flat and they do not droop on the sides if you look at my thumb you can see it's going straight out it does not droop on the sides and I have never experienced something like that before it's, it pinched my nails really tight so it actually hurt it hurt so much that I actually had to file off a lot of product so I had to got that relief so that my nail could spread out again so here no that is the wet layer after the glitter of course of course sorry and the wet layer yes and then the big, big blob and I'm keeping my nail really in a downward yeah you see angle sorry so the gravity is helping me a lot with the gel it just float down floats down the nail when I'm guiding it down so it doesn't run in back into the cuticle I might have put a little bit too much on here so I tried to keep most of it in the middle of the nail so it gets a nice apex and the same on the rest of the nails I think I edited it out the middle finger for some reason <laughs> I just added some extra cool gel on my middle finger it was the same procedure so I love working with this cool gels texture I really like to work with a gel that is not too thick I like that it floats actually <laughs> I like that it moves so I like to use the gravity like you see now if it's floating towards the cuticle you just turn your nail upside down and you get that nice apex right away and you do not need to struggle filing it and you do not need to end up with bumps and lumps it self levels you do not get that valleys or lumps I really love uh, a little bit more on the runny side than a thicker side I struggle more with that because then I need to push the gel in place I do not like to push the gel in place I like it to float or just have the tip of the brush in in the gel and just move it around on the nail plate barely touching the gel And wipe off on the edge of a nail because then you do not get that really fat pregnant nails so get off the with the wipe off solution take off the tacky layer and yeah I'll, I'm going to wipe off that um, and then I guess you will see two weeks later you will see <laughs> how uh, this nail looks I am going to do a close-up for you so take a look at my nail here underneath it has pinched my nail you can see how red my finger is up underneath that nail it has pinched it so it almost it felt like they growed inwards like an ingrown toenail it was so painful so I 
just had to put on the finishing design here and, and take picture and remove it again. <laughs> but here I'm going in with Menon Glance. Uh, two layers actually of their the base coat for their metallic gels because then you get a really thick and and smooth base gel for the metallic gels. After I have cured this one, I'm just using their metallic base. That is, you can see it just has that metallic look. And you use quite thick strokes and do not go over and over. Because if you go in and make uh, strokes, you it's hard to get it to be shiny when it dries. So it's better to use quite a thick layer. That is, so it got super shiny, but then I took Enel Couture's top coat on and it got so dull. It really dulled up even when I, even when I cured it. So I just had to file it off again and start all over again. So this is with my long lens top coat and it looks beautiful. <laughs> So I'm doing some kind of drawings here, uh, yeah, a, almost a circle with some droopy <laughs> and some dots, but you will see me change some of that. And here I do some foggy lines or marble, marble lines, depending on how you look at that, at it. And I go in with some alcohol or maybe some, maybe not alcohol, but acetone with my brush now and play with it the way you want it to be. And then when I cure it, I put on another layer of gel, just so when I have cured that layer of gel, I go in another time again with um, this uh, white painting gel and that makes some other, other vein as, as you can see. So um, then you get that more of a three-dimensional look when you do it in layers and just over and over each other. And I also put some, some metallic studs on that uh, pointer finger. And I put on some rhinestone gel and put some rhinestone on and also some of those studs on that over those drops that I drew on. <laughs> and on the pinky I also added just some something. First I had to cover it with cool gel because it you can see it, the white has turned a little bit yellow yellow after two weeks with no top coat on. It's better than it should have been <laughs> after two weeks with no top coat. So I use that bling gel again. I uh, have, I just love those metallic roses. I have used them a lot last year or two. So I'm putting on that silver metallic rose and I just put on different stones of black and silver and just blend different sizes and make a cluster around my rose. So it adheres properly with the, I'm using that bling gel first and then I use a top coat around it so I seal in all the stones that kept it in place.
so I'm going over with the super shiny the smaller beads I'm not worried about I often go over them but if you have bigger beads or stones you should go around them not over them because it will dull the blinginess of it in them so here I try to go around them and seal them in and that is just what I do put on the top coat and then this design is finished soon finished so please go out go over <laughs> and check out glitterlust.com and use my affiliate link when you do that in the description box because then you go come straight into the shop and use my code Nails on Norway at checkout, and you will get 20% off these glitters. And um, you can also get free shipping if you spend over $50 and it ships worldwide. But here it is, here's the result. You can see I lost the middle of my rose there but uh, well it uh, it is what it is so thank you everybody for watching nails on Norway please subscribe and hit that grey notification bell so you get updates when I put out another video I am going to do some new collaborations so please stay tuned I am so excited about that and yeah comment if you like be nice in the comment box please and give this video a huge big thumbs up if you like it because i need to bump up in the youtube system and yeah that's it i guess and i hope to see you soon everybody bye bye for now bye bye